everybody! How's it going? Hope you're all doing really well. This week's book is The Skin We Are In. I really wanted to review this book because I feel like the point where I'm at in my life right now, I think it's really important to open my mind and also to learn how to understand the different perspectives that people have. And with this book, I really wanted to focus on the messaging because I feel because I feel like the topic is so powerful and is so heavy because it really shows, you know, a lot of our society will, you know, they say, oh, you know, um, there's no racism in Canada, you know, utopian society. We are um, open minded, multicultural. People can dress in their traditional um, clothing. It's accepting, but this book, it, it really kind of tells people like, wait, hold on. Yes, racism does exist in Canada. And it really, I hope that when you read it, if you read it, that you also get that point as well, where it's often the racism that does happen in Canada is often swept under the rug. And I know that a lot of people are saying, you know, and a lot of, sorry, it's really windy outside. <laughs> we're about, we're supposedly going to have a mini tornado, so don't mind the sound. Um, so yeah, and he talks about the experiences of people of color in Canada and how these experiences have shaped the society that we live in. So as I was reading this, like I said, he really, he highlights the injustices that are happening. Yeah, and like I said, people say, oh, Canada is better than America. And as I was reading this book, I became very interested in wanting to learn more about racism in Canada. And I came across Africville. Please look this up because it really, you know, it, it highlights. So for example, um, there was a place called Africville where the People that were slaves were leaving America to come to Canada. And in Africville, these peop the people that were fleeing America to Canada, they weren't given enough resources. They weren't um, treat they weren't resources. They were not being treated very well. And I think that is so important. They don't teach us this in the history books. You know, we, we didn't learn how Canada also played a part in the issues that are happening in Canada today. So yes, please, please get this book. Um, and I and I think the book also really does a very good job at shedding some light, open our eyes to people's experiences. It really sheds some light and I think that is part of the reason why this book is so amazing. Yes, so because of the topic, I think it is so amazing. I. I'm going to be doing more research on this and understanding the part. So shed some light on people's experiences and people's struggles. Let's learn how to bring light to life and also kind of unlearn certain behaviors and things that have happened in the world. So honestly, pick up this book, especially if you really want to develop an understanding of racism in Canada. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all the love, the knowledge. Let's keep growing and let's keep learning. And as always, to be continued.